What's up, everybody? This is Michael Powers of Indiana Desolate coming to you live with a studio update and some thoughts about the latest, newest uh, Megadeth video I have. I will share with that later after I do a studio update. Uh, it is June 25th. It is 8.36 a.m. where I'm at here in the studio in Kalamazoo, Michigan. Hoping everyone is well. Hoping that you guys didn't do anything too crazy last night. Uh, hopefully you guys are doing okay. Today is Saturday. Uh, just wanted to, like I said, do another studio update uh, with you guys. Uh, um, we've been super busy here in the Indiana Desolate Camp. Uh, I've had uh, everybody, including myself, really busy. Uh, we, uh, we've been really... Uh, doing well on this album i think it's going to be a really good album right now so far uh it looks like we have about eight tracks on the album so far that we're shooting for um uh, that probably will be the the maximum amount of tracks i want on this album because i think a, a lot of it is the shorter attention spans so i want to uh, basically keep it just about the right length. I think 12 tracks are a little bit too lengthy of an album. Uh, I think that uh, kind of people start tuning out, kind of not being more attentive to their listening after about eight. So I'm going to shoot for eight tracks on this album. Hopefully that will be good with you guys. I hope so. They're really good tracks. Uh, um, like I said, uh, I'm thinking about doing a... Uh, uh, me and Madia doing an interview on Italy Echo. Uh, it's a Italian slash English station. I've got to get a hold of uh, the nice lady Vivian Giorgani and uh, schedule a time to do that interview. And that might be when I announce the release date for the album and the name of the album and stuff like that. So, uh, like I said, I've got to see how well these final tracks go in the production process see how well the singer Madia does on this last track um, like I said I've I had him do like I think four four songs so he was really knocking them out of the park uh, uh, what I would basically do is listen to the song uh, and I'm really good at uh, uh, picking out uh, good chorus melodies with these songs so I, I would say I probably uh, nailed down four, uh, three out of the four songs that he did, the choruses. So uh, I'm really good at doing that. Uh, they're really catchy, really good. Uh, they really stick in your head. So that's a really good thing. And like I said, the, um, I'm thinking if this last song goes well that Maddie is going to do hopefully uh, sometime soon in the studio, uh, I'm thinking maybe five singles from this album. It's that good. Uh, like I said, there's eight tracks on the album. So that tells you how good of an album it really is. I, like I said, I think it's a really, really good album. Uh, uh, like I said, we've been really busy. The new producer has been uh, really kicking butt. Uh, uh, his name is Matthew Brett uh, over at Matthew Brett Productions. So he's really good. If you guys can get over on Instagram and check him out, like I said, his his uh, production uh, company is called Matthew Brett Productions. He's really good, really gifted, really great guy, really talented guy, and he's been really doing a phenomenal, fantastic job with us in the production uh, area of the album. So that's really cool. Uh, like I said, he's a really great guy. So uh, if you guys can check him out, like I said. I want to just give a shout out to him and uh, plug Matthew Brett Productions. Uh, like I said, if you guys can over to head over to Instagram and check him out, he's really good. Uh, he's really a phenomenal producer, and we are very, very appreciative of him and all his labor and efforts, and to have him on board in the Indiana Desolate Camp. That is the studio update. Like I said, the songs are going really well. Uh, the lyrics are very deep, very meaningful. Uh, I would say as far as a theme for this album, it's very much a heavy, but kind of more of a, not so much thrashy album, but more of a kind of like soul searching, kind of in-depth uh, feeling album, I guess, if you will, a metal album. So it's, 
it's really it kind of it kind of goes into the deeper issues a little bit of society and stuff like that and kind of you know it it grasps you emotionally so that's what we want to go with and uh you know it's like i said it's not so much thrashy and not so much about politics some of it is yes but uh like i said it's really uh like i said kind of an emotional uh trip for you guys so hopefully you guys will love it i hope this album does really well for us as we've worked really really hard on this album and putting it together for you guys so we love and appreciate you guys uh, moving on to the next topic, as I said before at the uh, beginning of the video, uh, I wanted to talk about Megadeth, their new song, We'll Be Back. Uh, I heard it, I, I saw the video on YouTube, and it, the video is very, very good. It's a very good story, uh, from what I understand, from what I've gathered through reading uh, social media posts. It's basically the first chapter in the Vic Rattlehead story, which... It's such a good video and such a good story that I'm like, when watching the music video, I kind of got lost out of the song and into the story of the video. It's like, it's such a good produced video. It's like, wow, this is really cool. So it was like a really good story. You kind of connect with the character of Vic Rattlehead before he turned into Vic Rattlehead. So it's kind of really cool. I mean, the song, now the quality of the song is it's very heavy metal. It's like, it's almost like too heavy. It's like too heavy for radio. It's very good, very phenomenal talent, very exceptional talent, very well written, but it's like too heavy for radio. So I, I think uh, Dave Mustaine and company, the legends that they are, they're saying we don't give a fuck. We uh, have basically established ourselves as giants in the industry, so we are going to write what we want to write and we're going to just leave everything on the table and they're 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 just doing it man they're just really kicking ass so like i said it's a really good song but it's super heavy it's like holy cow this is not radio friendly at all so i think they're going for a statement of we're going to go back to our thrash roots and we're going to just obliterate everything we see and leave no prisoners behind and that's literally what they're doing because this song is really heavy like i said it's really like thrashy uh, it's, 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 to me, it's too heavy for radio. Uh, like I said, it's really heavy. So I, I would be surprised to hear radio stations playing this song because it is so heavy. Uh, like I said, I think they went back to their thrash roots and they really, really brought, brought it to the table. But like I said, it's very well written, very extremely good and great guitar work on it. Very talented. I'm impressed. They, they really outdid themselves. So kudos to Megadeth for that. Very good. Uh, song called we'll be back if you can get over there to megadeth.com and check those guys out they're really good um the album is called the sick the dying and the dead they're really good like i said uh and i've been a huge megadeth fan for a long time so uh yeah get over there and check them out guys they're really good so uh but i love and appreciate you guys uh that's my rant and rave for uh but uh personal life i did get a haircut yes uh it's kind of the more shorter style, kind of like the Russell Crowe gladiator look. Uh, uh, the the, uh, the uh, haircut stylist did a really good job. She was really cool, so she really wanted to, you know, know about the band and stuff like that. So that was really cool. So so it's it's, it's like been a really cool time period for us, you know, uh, for me anyways. I know that uh, uh, if you guys can, keep your thoughts on us in prayer and uh uh, just that uh, we'll be able to finish up this good album for you guys and get things going. Uh, like I said, uh, uh, don't know a release date yet. I've got to touch base with both producers, see how things are going. Uh, like I said, we're in the we're just about in the final stages of mastering the songs. Like I said, uh, uh, our singer Madia has to basically. Uh, finish doing the vocals for one last song uh for the album then the vocals should be wrapped up then it's off to production time it's basically uh let uh matt like i said matthew brett and matthew brett productions let him finish up the lead guitar work on the album uh and uh do those great solos that he's able to do and uh like i said and then just finish mastering the songs and 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 finally get a final copy of those songs out and i can hear them and 
we can basically put that bad boy out there for you guys. So you guys, if you can, keep us in your thoughts and prayers about that, like I said. Uh, I, my, my plan is, like I said, to try to get a scheduled interview with uh, uh, the station Natali Echo as they were really cool with us. Uh, like I said, the, the lady Vivian Dragani, she was really cool, really nice, friendly lady, very professional as well. She was really cool. And, uh, so that's, that's my whole game plan. I, like I said, I got to get in touch with her and then, uh, see if we can try to, you know, announce that album date on air, uh, and the release date and the name of the album to you guys. Uh, like I said, once we get the album finally finalized and ready for distribution uh i will go ahead and schedule that interview and then like i said i will talk to touch base with everybody in the indiana desolate camp production wise and see what time frame we can release this album like i said i'm hoping it'll be earlier than christmas i know i said uh, i want to shoot for december 25th but that is a long ways away but i'm hoping that uh I'm hoping we can do it sooner. I, I really would love that. That would be great. But I'm not sure when. So you guys keep us in your thoughts and prayers about that. We love you guys. I've kept you guys about 11 minutes. I love you guys. You guys take care. Have a good rest of your weekend. I appreciate you guys. And let me do a shout out to all the bandmates, the new producer, Matthew Brett. Thank you at Matthew Brett Productions. Thank you so much, Matt, for all your hard work. To Maddie, our lead singer, hopefully you are well, my friend. Hopefully you're doing well. Uh, to everybody that participated and contributed on this album, we love and appreciate you to all the great artists, producers, everybody behind the scenes that have been working hard in the Indiana Desolate Camp. We thank you so much. And last but certainly not least, definitely first, the fans, the friends and the family and the artists of Indiana Desolate that have followed us, supported us. We love you guys. Horns to you guys. And... We uh, know that, uh, you know, uh, times are getting tough out there, but uh, we hope you guys can fight through it and persevere. And uh, we hope to give you guys some kick-ass music uh, soon to hopefully get through those tough times. We love and appreciate you guys. And you guys, please try to take care of yourselves and each other because you guys are worth it. Don't let anybody tell you you're not because they're full of shit. We love you guys, and you guys take care. This is Mike Powers of Indiana Desla signing out. We'll see you guys. See ya. Enjoy that outro, guys.